After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen, and it's consistently increasing every single day. In today's episode, we are going to do the final and most important preparations before we start gaining combat levels. And one of the most important unlocks is 58 herb lore for the herb sack. Look at that, super energy potions, we can now make them. Uh, this is gonna help me a lot in questing, running around, herbivore, everything. Whenever I'm doing herbivore for herbs and hunter experience, we occasionally get these unidentified fossils. With these fossils, we can get XP lamps, which we can put on our hit points. Hit points experience, 2k hit points experience, 43 hit points, 22 combat. 57 minutes in and we have only gotten two unidentified small fossils. It takes our time, but it's definitely worth it in the lane. Another very important grind I need to do is construction. And the method I'm doing to obtain construction levels is mahogany homes. It's a lot cheaper than the normal construction training methods and it's very hard for the hunters to track me down while I'm doing this. Give us the looting bag. Uh, first kill count looting bag. And that will be 45 construction. 46. And there we have it, 47 construction. That's all we need for now. Amulet of Glory, uncharged, beautiful. We have now unlimited teleports to these four locations. And I also want to build a study hall for 50k. And we want the lectern right there. So now when I get the magic level, we can now make Lambridge teleports, which will be a safe one-click teleport tablet. And that's 50 construction, we can now make a portal room in my house. Time to sell more items and make more money. And we got 195k. 100k for a portal chamber. This is so awful, so expensive. <sighs> it is finally time to do some quests to unlock some teleport. We start with the, the Ascent of Arceus. And that's the Ascent of Arceus completed. Uh, we can now teleport to Arceus. And that should be the Depths of Despair completed. And we have now unlocked another teleport, which is Lunch by Lancelium in Hosidius. Another trip to the West Ardy store for a nice 120k. So I actually got myself 11 attack, and with this 11 attack, I can make an upgrade. Black Dagger, Weapon Poison on the Black Dagger. We now have an upgraded Poisonous Dagger. We got the black one, baby. All right, we got a hard close crawl. Uh, we're gonna try to attempt to do this. This will be step number one. Step number one, completed. Step number two, completed. Step number three, completed. Um, eleven. what is this? Yeah, there is no way. Step number four, not completed. Any good seeds? Oh, that's a lot of herb seeds. Look at that, snap. Terramid, nice. Is he gonna attack me? <laughs> he had his chance. Alright, he spec me. Now what? <laughs> Is he just gonna range me? Alright, let me farm. Please let me farm. He's ragging at this point. Alright, I guess we're not farming anymore. Yay, we just got 900 total from fishing. Oh, I just love these free ninja implings. So easy obtainable and potentially good money. Not this one though. Another shooting star. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the sound of this star? And I also did some winter Todd in hopes of getting the Tome of Fire. I ended up not getting it because I'm never lucky. Come on. It's a dragon implink. Yes. What do we get? No! He got a hit off at least, um, but yeah, didn't kill me, so... That's a G-Mauler. <gasps> this account can G-Maul me. 50 attack, 50 strength. What's the max hit of a Gmall? 69 farming? Nice. One of my goals before I start doing combat is to get 58 herb lore 
to be able to purchase myself a herb sack from Tithe Farm. Currently we are 51 herb lore and we got plenty of herbs in the bank. This will get me a few levels. 52, 53, 54 herb lore. I decided to complete the quest The Feud for 15k thieving experience give me 48 thieving. It is time for me to start training in thieving. I want to be able to thieve early nights because this is a safe money maker you can do in a bank. 49 thieving. And that's 50 thieving. Okay, I've been scouted. We're done thieving for now. We got the dragon and playing. Yes! Mystic Row Bottom. And there we go. The tourist trap have been completed. Uh, we got 39 smithing from that. What the hell is that? Don't you dare do anything stupid. He's watching me! That's gotta be a hardcore, right? That could have ended so badly if he could attack me. I don't know if I could teleport away from that, uh, that position there as a penguin. And that will be the Cold War completed. So the reason why I completed Cold War is because of this agility course. This is a pretty safe agility course because if you remove your penguin suit, you get kicked out. Oh my god, what? Oh! An Abimali got a hit off on me. Hey, we got a casket. Huh? A powdered wig and a black plate skirt G. Alright, I do look like a special person in this wig. I don't know what I think. Do I like it? Maybe I do like it. This will be 82 Hunter. Slowly getting up there. Plenty of herbs obtained. Plenty of more to go. Whoa. It found me. Oh, wait, there's a dragon imping here. There's a dragon imping here. We gotta go to multi. He says, go get it. You got this. Don't you dare do it. Don't you dare do it. Yes, we got it. We got the impling. There we have it. 100 tickets. Let's turn these ones in. Potentially we can get... Uh, I think we are gonna get 50 agility. Maybe 49. Trade. 100 tickets. 31k experience. We got 50 agility. Beautiful. We can now use the Falador agility course. Maybe we get luck on this D-imp as well. No. 60k. Once again, it's time to AFK for maybe 30, 40, 50 minutes. Uh, so see you guys in a bit. At this point, I have been mining this crash star for 2 hours and 20 minutes. We got 2400 stardust and I'm just enjoying life to the fullest. Let's trade over 3600 stardust for a bag of gems. This will be so much crafting experience, you have no idea. Uh, no one exactly. Five dragon stones and plenty of uncuts. All right, let's see how much crafting experience we get. We start at 50. 51, 52, 53. Oh, 70 farming. <clears throat> All right, here we go. This will be the final batch. We now have 264 points. 264 points is enough for a herb sack, but we need 58 herb lore for that, so we gotta wait until we can buy this one. All right, we need herb seeds. Ooh, oh my god, that's a lot of snape. 23 snape grass seeds, that's beautiful. But very bad, very bad herb seeds. Conway has scouted a dragon impling for me and he sent this picture. He has his D boy right there! And it's in the desert as well, so it's pretty scary. Do I dare do it? I'm gonna attempt to do it. Okay, I got it. There's so many implings! He didn't attack me! Alright, we are safe. We got a dragon impling. What do we get? Hey, there's lures here. Get a magic seed. Look at him, he's actually so upset. I'm retiring, he says. Did he even notice me running in? I swear to god, I didn't see it. I had Discord over my screen. What are the chances? There he is. There he is. Alright, I think we're done here. Let's go on a farm run. I think it's time. Wait, what? Oh my god, he got a hit of me. What? I didn't even- Oh my god. What was my HP there? I didn't even see him come in there. 
I think that's the first debuffer that have hit me so far. He hit at 23.8. I was good to restored up, putting my HP at 16 HP. That was my first chance from a dark bow, and that's the first time a dark bow have hit me. Anyone wanna know what the worst part is? I used a teleport tablet to my house. I only got one left. Closing up on that herb sack. This is 55 herb lore. And there we go, 51 thieving. Is this the final one? There we go, 55 thieving! We can now pickpocket Knights of RD. These knights can be pickpocketed in a safe zone, which means this is a safe zone money maker for whenever there's too many hunters out. Very useful on this account, so let's go! Is that a G Mall? The Debo into the G Mall. What? Yes, we got our fifth medium fossil. Beautiful. We now have one XP lamp for, I think it's 5k. Alright, look, we made a big lava monster from the fossils. And we made the clam as well. And we got two lamps. And as much as I want to use these lamps on Herblore, we need to put it on hit points because every HP counts when encountering a PDK here. So sadly, we're getting hit points levels here. 44 hit points. Oh, he got 99! He got 99 strength! Look at that! <laughs> oh my god! Good thing I teleported and good thing I took Protect from Melee up! I have barely recorded any clips from the last few days because I've just kept doing farm runs. We need that 58 herb lore. And it's just... it takes ages getting these herbs. I never really realized how slow herb lore was until I started training it myself. 56 herb lore. Ooh, we got a medium casket. Not often I get these. Good luck. Ooh, swordfish. I do like those swordfish. Oh my god. And this will be 57 herb lore. One level left to go. Three more seed packs. We need some herb seeds. A uh, Harrowlander, nice. Toad flax, Amatos, nice. You know, I'm still waiting to get my first teleports from a clue scroll. Yep, still waiting. So I didn't even think about this, but I got six sinister keys and with these keys, we can unlock the sinister chest. This chest alone gives me nine herbs per key. I remember when Solo Mission died here. What a beautiful sigh. Here's the chest, I think. Look at that 18 runners, beautiful. Oh my god, he was there. Alright, this may just be the casket. Yes, we got the casket. Please give us some teleport. It's time. Oh my god, that's so bad. Maybe we can pull some hard clues. Hard clue? Hard clue? Hard clue? Hard clue? No, sad. I might regret this later, but this is gonna be 14 magic by making dodgy necklaces. Wait, I gained a combat. Oh no, I didn't think I would gain combat from that. <laughs> Oops. Alright, whatever. We're getting some thieving levels here. Okay, okay. It's all good. 57 thieving. We can now open the grubby chest in the fortress dungeon. This is the location where you can obtain Ceradomin Bruce. Such a long grind, but it's finally... Finally over 58 herb lore. We can now buy and use ourselves a herb sack. This was one of the most important items I wanted before getting combat. It's been done. We are done. Oh, this is gonna be so good for farming. So good for grinding NPCs. So good for Slayer. So good for everything. And while recording this episode, I must say that the bounty have increased by 14 mil plus 10 plus another 10 plus 25 plus 100 plus another 100 plus 26 plus 171 plus 25 plus 20 plus 30 plus 10 plus another 10 plus 30 plus 5 plus 3 and finally the biggest donation these couple of weeks plus 666 million 
Oh my god, 666 mil to the bounty. And there were a few people who didn't want to be mentioned in the video, so the bounty is now up to 5 billion 100 million GP. Good luck, gamers. And just before you click away from this video, I need to let you know that 44% of you watching right now haven't subscribed, so if you're one of them, make sure to subscribe right now. And if you're already subscribed, give this video a like. We need 5,000 likes. And I'll see you guys in one week.